This is a high flow release of water from the Glen Canyon Dam. Water from Lake Powell is released through the dam and back into the Colorado River. The surge of water then rushes down the Colorado and through the Glen, Marble, and Grand Canyons. During this 96 hour high flow release, nearly 120,000 acre feet of water rush through these four bypass tubes. Dam operators occasionally release high flows of reservoir water to mimic the seasonal floods that once swept down the Colorado River. Dams are important for controlling flooding and to store water in reservoirs for use throughout the whole year. However, many scientists believe it is also important to move sediment down the river below the dam to create and renew sandbars and beaches in the canyons. Since Glen Canyon Dam stops sediment from moving downriver, the primary sources of new sand and sediment to the Colorado River system below the dam are two downstream tributaries. Here from the Perea River, and further downriver where the Little Colorado joins the Colorado. The Perea River is a tributary to the Colorado River. The Perea joins the Colorado downriver from the Glen Canyon Dam and upriver from the Grand Canyon. Once the tributaries deposit sediment into the Colorado River, the surge of water released from Lake Powell picks up and carries that sediment further down the river. Scientists continuously collect data to study the effects of high flow water releases on native and non-native fish, plants, insects, and other wildlife in and around the river. But scientists also study water temperature, hydrodynamics, hydropower production, mineral deposits, geology, archaeology, paleontology, fishing, rafting, recreation, and areas of cultural importance on the river and in the canyons. During this particular high flow release, an estimated 525,000 metric tons of sand, clay, and other sediment was moved by the surge of river water. That's enough sediment to fill a giant 400-ton payload mining dump truck 1,300 times. Along with providing new data for scientists to study, high flow releases also create and renew sandbars and beaches along the river. The new sediment deposits provide larger camping areas for river rafters, kayakers, anglers, and other recreational explorers at the Colorado River. These are the beaches before the high flow release of water. This is after. This is before. And this is after. Before. And this is after. We still have much to learn about the Colorado River and its many fragile and important ecosystems. High flow releases of water are just one of the many methods scientists and engineers from Reclamation and its partner agencies and organizations are using to study and understand how we, as human dependents and stewards of this limited life-saving resource, can help nature achieve balance.